Hello, um, we're very happy to welcome you to this short question and answer session that we're having um, with, with two of our brilliant program alumni from uh, 2023's inaugural UVA in Buenos Aires Global Internship Program. And so I'm really happy to have uh, to, to alumni here. And so we have Francisco Luzama, who's a third year political and social thought major. And we also have Libby West, who's a third year art history major and Spanish minor. So thank you both so much for coming and talking to us. I think it will just be very valuable for anyone who is interested in this program to hear directly from you about what it was like to, to spend eight weeks in Buenos Aires this past summer. So. I'll just go ahead and start asking you a bunch of questions. So the, the first one is, um, what drew you to apply for the UVA in Buenos Aires Global Internship Program? I mean, for me, I would say I really enjoy traveling like my entire life. Um, and the summer before I was abroad in Italy and that one was for my major and um i kind of wanted to continue and go abroad and do another experience and i really wanted to put my spanish to the test um and looked at the argentina program because i just thought it would be a great experience for me to uh be fully immersed and just practice my spanish as much as possible Yeah, and um, for me, I had never really considered studying abroad before looking at this program. But when I saw that I would be able to do an internship while also being able to live in Latin America, I thought that would be super interesting. Um, they they said that they would find an internship that for me, like they'd pair me with an, uh, a difficult company that would interest me. And while being able to explore a new country and improve on my Spanish, I thought it was a great opportunity. Um, yeah, being able to have an internship in the nonprofit sector in Latin America was also interesting to me. Uh, I'm considering going into the nonprofit sector in the United States and getting the experience of how another country uh, deals with that sector is something that others don't really get to experience for sure. Great. And now that you've been back um, for a while um, from being abroad, uh, what stands out to you as being most most meaningful about your your time in Argentina if you could distill it down to a thing or two um so for me my supervisor was like super flexible in the internship uh, and what would it and what it would entail so I could get the most out of it and so I worked at a nonprofit that builds emergency shelters and I got to spend a weekend putting these emergency shelters together and then when I came back from that, I was able to put a report analyzing different volunteer systems of nonprofits in Argentina to help with the organization's recruitment process. And so I was able to experience the meaningfulness of spending a weekend and with community uh, building these shelters, and then also experience like the long-term impact of helping a, a nonprofit improve how it runs its systems. So. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, I worked for, um, I wasn't able to work with a nonprofit, but um, I worked with a like software development company and um, the company is technically based out of the United States and all of their clients are in English. And so while working in Argentina, everyone has to um, be able to use their Spanish and English um, at essentially almost a fluent level. So being able to just like see the kind of translation going back and forth between the um, Spanish and English was really impactful for me. I just, it's kind of amazing at just the, you know, level of language and studying and such like that was really cool to see and it's kind of inspiring me to just be like I you know this is where I would like my Spanish level to be you know at kind of like the same level as my English so I can just go back and forth and especially in a work environment um, uh, like you know the company I worked for it just is essential for them. 
What did you find most fascinating about interning in Argentina itself? Um, well, I was lucky that my internship was in person and my um, internship was right in the center of downtown. Um, so I was right next to the obelisk, uh, which was so cool. I could see it from my, my desk, actually. Um, so I just really loved being in the city and just being honestly surrounded by just like people talking and sometimes I didn't understand what was going on and it just kind of felt like a cool mystery as to like what's going on um and I really just enjoyed being able to like live the quote-unquote city life and um I lived in uh, Palermo and like specifically in like Palermo Soho so like the cool hipper part <laughs> of the town and um I was just I really tried to just, you know, be out of my home state as much as possible and just try every restaurant, every cafe, meet as many people as I can because, you know, I'm not going to have this opportunity again. Yeah. Um, for me, I think it was really fascinating. I was expecting to, like, come into an office and, like, work in a cubicle, like what I had experienced ex here in the United States. But when I got there, it was a completely different. We would walk in, we would all sit at the same table. Uh, we would uh, chat for a while. And just being able to have long lunches with each other, sometimes we would go to events after work just to hang out. I was able to learn a lot about Argentina through that. And, and you know, we would be able to talk about how Argentina's education systems, how their political systems work their aspirations and interests, which is always much more like meaningful and interesting than learning about a culture through um, a book or through Google, for sure. Um, often being broad can give you a different or another perspective on the identities that you feel you hold. Um, and so how, if at all, did being in Argentina for eight weeks impact your understanding of your identities? Yeah, um, so I feel like I got to know myself more as an individual. Um, I was staying away from like my family and, and everyone I knew for like the first time. You're in a completely different country. Um, and we're staying in Buenos Aires, which is a big city. So I got to spend time exploring my interests um, in a lot of different ways. There's different museums that I would be able to go visit. I even picked up boxing for a little bit, uh, which is something that is very intimidating to do when you're like in the United States. But if you're already in a different country, it was like super inviting and a, and a great experience that I was able to have over there. Um, so for sure, just being able to go out and explore all that the big city has allowed me to learn more about myself. I'm definitely kind of in the same boat of uh, figuring myself out as an individual. I had a really large struggle uh, with going there and, you know, adjusting and being away from my family um, because I, you know, I wasn't really home that much this year because, you know, I'm at school and um, I'm definitely a huge family girl. So, you know, when I was, you know, away from my family for that long, um, I kind of struggled, but you know, I went abroad in, you know, the summer before and I was okay. But this time I think with being in a completely different hemisphere and on top of that, everyone is speaking a different language to me. Um, I just thought I would crumble. Um, but I was able to just, it took, it took time, you know, it, it felt like the end of the world for a little bit. But um, I was able to just, you know, get back on my feet and just be like, okay, you know what, this is going to be hard, but that's okay that it's going to be hard. That means the experience is working, that it's getting a little easier. So uh, just kind of being able to just get through it and just really just put yourself fully into it. Um. 
Libby, you spoke a little bit about this already, but how did you use your Spanish skills? And did you find that your proficiency or comfort with the language changed over the course of the program? Oh, absolutely. Um, I would think that in my world that my Spanish has gotten better. Um, I will say like the switch in accent is a little quicker and um, especially with, you know, the dialect being a little different in Argentina compared to what I've, you know, normally studied. Um, I was able to pick that up a little quicker, but uh, having that adjustment was a little tough. Um, but thankfully, actually, I was able to uh, kind of apply this to one of the classes that I'm taking right now. It's the um, uh, the 4040, the Spanish to English translation, because essentially that was my job was um, here is some Spanish stuff. We're going to need like we would hope that you can utilize your fluent English to help and translate some of this stuff into like a formal um, analysis or a paper or something like that. So uh, definitely being able to apply that now in one of my classes is like a full circle moment. Yeah. Um, so I was raised in a, in a Spanish speaking household, but like my Spanish still improved a lot. Um, I'm used to only like speaking Spanish with my parents. So I got to use Spanish in a bunch of different contexts, using it in more casual, more professional settings. And uh, before Argentina, like I would still be kind of nervous to, to speak Spanish. Um, I knew my grammar wasn't that good. And just being able to speak it more, speaking it every day got me a lot more comfortable with it, um, as well as being able to like read it more through the internship and write more through the report I was writing in Spanish. Um, yeah, when I came back, um, my family like noticed that my my Spanish was like noticeably better. Like I was more fluid and more comfortable with the Spanish um, and even like learning slang through through the coworkers at the internship. It just makes speaking Spanish a lot more fun. So what advice or guidance do you have for your peers who are thinking about maybe doing a global internship program? Um, I would say uh, research the country that you'll be living in and try to immerse yourself in the language as much as you can before traveling. I feel like being able to have uh, conversations with um, the locals make it a lot more meaningful. And think about what you want to get out of the internship so that you can communicate it with the program coordinators and the internship supervisor um, so that they can help you as much as they can. Um, for me, I guess I would say like the two main things, I guess, is like once you kind of get your location as to where you're staying, uh, it's kind of important to just like see where some of the basics are of, you know, the, the laundromat. Um, it took me a, a little bit of time to find one um, and, you know, maybe try and see, spot out some cafes that you could be going and doing some work at. Um, I, I definitely did that before and I ended up staying at the same cafe um, when I did my work. And then I guess like the second piece of information or advice I would give was probably just like, even if it seems like you are doing trash absolute garbage at your Spanish um, and you just want to just you know revert back to just English and do what you know it's totally okay to just be completely wrong with your Spanish because you know uh, everyone is there like in the community that you're with to help you and give you the corrections you need in a polite and nice manner rather than just like outright, you know, being mean and correcting you like that's not right. And, you know, that's that's how you learn Spanish is you you mess up and you figure out that you messed up and then you just continue forward. And um, improving your Spanish, you know, obviously doesn't involve you going straight back to English. So it's just important that you just keep trying as much as you can to speak whenever you can. Libby and Francisco, thank you so much for talking with us and sharing 
these insights. I really hope that uh, students who are considering this program in the future will watch this and, and, and hear your wisdom. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Thank you.